So when this joint, temporomandibular joint, is no different than any other joint in the body, and it operates just like the elbows and the hips and the knees, when this joint becomes chronically inflamed, it sends a autonomic signal, sympathetic portion, down the nervous system to the muscles that move this joint, which are primarily the muscles of mastication. And the muscle mastication gets signals ver at various times and in various amounts to contract, tighten up. And when they chronically tighten up, chronically contract, they pull on the bone. And where the muscles of mastication are attached to the bone, that is where the patients will complain of pain because that's where the nociceptors are in the periosteum. And they will point directly to where the muscle is attached to the bone and Consistently, the patients will come in and point exactly to the area that hurts, which you then can trace to one or more muscles in that area, including the midface. There are muscles here, the masseter muscle, temporalis muscle, insertion of the temporalis, mylohyoid, both insertion and origin of all these muscles. When they contract, they will pull on the bone. They will stimulate pain. The pain can move around on the face depending on which set of muscles the sympathetic portion decides they want to uh, stimulate. Doesn't always have to be the same place. And the, patient, and the facial pain will move around from time to time. Or it can be consistent on one side or another. But it fully, completely complains of how patients can complain of headaches of different varieties from inflammation, chronic inflammation from the temporomandibular joint. If the orthopedic surgeons had been better, better at communicating with the dentist about what the orthopedic surgeons call joint splinting, the muscles tighten up and splint the joint automatically. In other words, the body's telling the joint, don't move that joint. It's damaged, don't move the joint.